like a bell cut. Greetings YouTube, this is Lloyd 216 here again with another unboxing and review. Today I'm going to be doing a review of something I cannot find any information about. What's that? Yeah, I'm making a video. I'm joined by my son Eden today. But I, so I was at my, lo uh, I was at my local GameStop and I came across this. So, the bomb figure with lights and sound and it looks like it's a Think Geek exclusive. And here's the weird thing about it. I cannot find any information on this. Literally, there's nothing on YouTube about it. There's no reviews online. Nothing. Not a zip. <laughs> He's saying hi. <laughs> and I had to pick it up. Because I had to, I had to see it. Because Baba has always been my favorite char character enemy from the Nintendo, uh, from the Super Mario games. I mean, I got this little guy right here. That was uh, a stocking stuffer for me for Christmas. But to have like this, and it ha has light up, so uh, it lights up and has sound. I had to pick it up. That's Super Mario. Yes, it is. And I actually got this on sale. It was uh, normally it goes for like uh, fifteen bucks. But uh, they had a $5 off coupon going around for uh, Power Up Rewards members. So I was actually able to get it for $15.83. When the only time I could find these online was on eBay for like 20 30 bucks. So yeah, let's take a look at the box. Relatively simple uh, uh, simple window packaging. Like I said, Think Geek exclusive, which you could tell. I apologize about the glare. There's really nothing I could do about that. Eden, can you stop, please? He wants to be in the video with you. <laughs> so, yeah. Relatively uh, it's relatively simple packaging. Mm -hmm. It's licensed, but it's got the uh, Nintendo license on it. Ages 6 and up. On the bottom of it, it just shows the price. Um, the only place it seems like you can find these, if you want to pick one up after this Ooh, video, is uh, check out GameStop. And just ask them if they have these. But, yeah, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and get it. Open it up. Yep, you gotta be fighting. Mm. So it just relatively slides up pretty easily. Oh. It looks like. Um, looks like it's held in through a latch. And the back of it's just held down with some tape. That looks like it could be uh, it looks like it could be easily Take taken off. off. I'm tr I'm trying. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna rip this up. So I'm not gonna be using it. I got it. No, I'm happy. I got it even. Don't really need to take off both ends. Instruction booklet. Let's take a look at that real quick before we pull him out. Wow. Uh, looks like it's relatively simple. It's. I like your baby. Looks like uh, the face comes you. off. You press the key and you press the key for it to work. Oh, the key spins. Cool. Um, the one thing I kind of don't like about this is that the key is relative. The key is actually relatively small compared to the rest of them. It, lo it looks like the wick actually lights up too. Okay, I see what I need to do. I need to take uh, the four screws on the back of it, right back here. So let's go ahead and take those out and notifications from my phone. <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab me. I think this one will work. Yeah, that, that one's your. That one. Well, let's try the one that's already in there first. Yeah, no, I need a smaller one. I'm happy you did. No, I got it. Thank you, though. I'm happy. You can hold the batteries for him. Yeah. Here, you hold let's it. Let's see if I got this. No. You know, I'm actually going to pause oh, this and it. I will be right back once I have this opened. Okay, so take two of doing this. Um, yeah, so you do need a relatively small screwdriver to get to the screws at the back of this guy. It takes uh, Phillip, uh, it takes a small Phillips head screwdriver. I've got one for my electronics repair kit. Um, so if you do plan on picking one of these guys up, I would suggest actually picking one up from uh, like a, an eyeglass repair kit so that we can get access to the four screws at the back. But I've got the AAA batteries in. It takes three of them. I have not turned it on yet, so let's go ahead and uh, press the key. Yeah, according to the instructions, it says just press the key. So I'm kind of, like I mentioned before, I'm kind of, uh, well, I mentioned this, uh, I may or may not have mentioned this, sorry. <laughs> I really, I'm kind of hoping this makes the, the 
64, uh, the Nintendo 6, uh, I don't know if I can talk, the Super Mario 64 bomb sound to where it just kind of like warbles when it talks, but let's see. So I don't, I'm going to do that again so that way because uh, the wick lights up and with uh, the amount of light in here, you can't really see it. That's pretty cool. That's really, really cool. You want to try? Um. But push it. Is. That's cool. So yeah, this is the Think Geek exclusive electronic lights and sound ba bomb. Overall, I think this thing is pretty cool. Overall, I think this thing is pretty cool for fifteen bucks. Um, if you find one, definitely pick it up because I don't know if these things are rare or not. Honestly, I I've, I've never seen one before, and I can't find them anywhere else. I can't find them online or anything. The only place I can find them is eBay. What? What are you talking about? I can't find these things. Anyway. This is Lord Von 216 signing out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below of what you guys thought, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>